Now, in another matter, <clears throat> I'd like to again commend President Trump <clears throat> for the outstanding judicial nominees he sent us this year. So far, every nominee we brought to the floor has been confirmed by a majority vote here in the Senate. In some case, uh, cases, those majority votes have been bipartisan and massive, like 95 to 1, like 97 to 0. And yet, almost every time a judicial nominee is brought to the floor, even nominees with votes like these, nominees that both parties support, Democrats throw up partisan procedural roadblocks. For what reason? Certainly not to change the outcome. No. Like I said, in many cases, Democrats actually support the nominees. They're just wasting more of the Senate's time because they can. They're doing it again now. Take the two judicial nominees currently before the Senate. First, there's Scott Polk. After nearly two decades as a state and federal prosecutor, Mr. Polk has the legal skill and community support to excel as a U.S. District Judge for the Western District of Oklahoma. The Senate Judiciary Committee approved his nomination by a bipartisan vote of 17 to 3. Then there's Trevor McFadden. Mr. McFadden's sterling record of public service makes him an ideal candidate for the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia. Not a single member, not one, of either party opposed him. Both of these nominees should have sailed a confirmation yesterday. Instead, Democrats are forcing us to waste time so we can again arrive at the exact same conclusion, but simply later this week. Now, this really has got to stop. In President Obama's first year in office, Republicans forced this procedural hurdle for a single judicial nominee, and it was a controversial one. Let me say that again. In President Obama's first year in office, Republicans forced the procedural hurdle we've had to endure many times for one nominee, and that nominee was controversial. In President Trump's first year in office, Democrats have forced this procedural hurdle for every single judicial nominee except one. Even if they actually supported him or her in the end, this is just the kind of partisan game that Americans are so sick of. President Trump should be commended for his strong judicial picks. The Senate's going to keep working hard to confirm them, and we're going to succeed. The only question is whether Democrats are going to keep wasting more of the Senate's time getting there. I hope they won't. I hope they'll end these pointless games so the Senate can keep its time and its focus where it belongs.